what is going on guys welcome back to another video it's been a while since i posted anything uh but today's video I'm going to post about the 2022 rst that i got I'll show you so i did end up buying uh seat covers leather seat covers or fake leather seat covers um a while back but i did not like them they destroyed pretty quick so i went ahead and ordered gmc covers so i'll be all the seat covers and these are going to be the leather two original seat covers for less than 700 bucks all right so here's my 22 rst refreshed um again there's a troll boss hood on it as the last couple videos lighted bow tie red toe hooks i added uh rst badge uh front seat still has the cloth cover which these are going away interior is on point the rear seat is the one that had the cheap aftermarket uh, seat covers from eBay. They're like 300 bucks. Doesn't line up right. No good. Already got the seat covers off again. Oh, and I also did add two eights. A CT sound uh, sound system. Actually sounds pretty good. Wired that up. Didn't do a video. I need to get back in YouTube. Here's the one for that side. It's not bad. But if you got kids, this is not for you. One of them dropped a piece of candy, tried to clean it up, and he just like lifted up the leather or leather. But other than that, put the good stuff in. So go ahead and install the GM stuff, which looks 10 times better. And show you how it looks like when we're done. All right, so pretty much what you do, you have these little retainers here you just gotta line them up with these things right here so you got all over tuck it in and it should be good and i'm not gonna zoom out so let me get this cover on and i'll show you here in a bit there is what it looks like kind of hard to see with the light so i need to stretch it on and get this side in so go a bit I got the zippers down. I gotta get this uh, retainer here. Tuck this in. This piece right here looks good. And I like this will be the old, the old one. But other than that, it doesn't look that bad. Alright, now on this side, we got the other one to match that cover. Make sure they're up. Yeah, they're good. And these look a lot better. You should have come with these. These are all cheesy. Um, same way, you gotta match these things to the seat. I had to buy a new cushion. Uh, I spilled something on here. But let's go ahead and get this cover onto here and show you what it's like. Alright, there we go. We got this section put on. Only thing I'll do now is uh, clip these things together. I'll do that here in a second. But I already got pretty much this side, and it looks pretty damn good. This side, it's a little higher here. Fix that, put a little heater in. You should like stretch it in better. But other than that, lines look good. Everything is good on it. Not bad, not bad. All right, so we gotta take these off so you get the whole back panel off. Uh, the bottom down in here is one bolt here and then they, this side, it got two bolts. So one in there, one in there on that side. The bottom, then you gotta re pull these retainers off. Not that bad, it's easier when you get one of these. Pull these out. And same thing here. Pull these out. Oh, oh and I just broke that one. Oh. Okay, so to remove these panels, you got these little latches here. Let's see. You gotta pop that one. It's gonna be one right here, and then one, one right over there. And then you should be able to get the seat off. All right, so here's the latches I'm talking about. There's one there. You got one over there and one at the very end. And then you should be able to get this whole thing off, slide it out, and then you gotta remove the cover with this stuff here, and then put the new one in. So let me take this out, I'll show you all in a bit. So we got the old one off, 
which is not the good one. And the new one is this one. Yes, got the right one. Here it is. So let me slip it on to this cushion. Show you what it looks like. With the heat and stuff like that, I'll make the the seat wrap around this, on the well, we'll make the leather wrap better on the seat. Whether or not the edges are perfect, not like the other one. Everything looks good, pretty easy. All the little thingies are back on. Retainers. Let's go put it back. It is all installed. Looks pretty good. Everything looks good and good. Looks good. I like it. I like this one better. So, e yeah, OEM, GM stuff. Uh, this is at the market one, so I'm eventually I'm gonna change these out. I didn't order these just yet, but I'll go ahead and do these, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the covers, and then I'll order these. So, stay tuned. Alright, to now do the front seats, you gotta take the T uh, torque bolts off. There'll be four, one there, one here, and then to the back, pull the seat out. You should be able to get uh, access to do the covers. <clears throat> Alright, so that's pretty difficult. Um, you do gotta take these panels off. There's a bunch of screws on there. And then you gotta take all these cover pin thingies, remove them all, and you should be able to get this up. Watch out for the heater. And then pretty much uh, shove the stuff through here push pull the cushion out you should be able to swap it out that way and same goes for this All right, so here's the replacement we're gonna pull this one off and replace it with the GM stuff so let's pull the things tabs as well which is these little tabs right here so, <coughs> so you got tabs here tabs tabs and then all along just brace it Nice. Here it is. Looks pretty good. Put the heater, get it on there pretty good. Even better. Let's get it on. Final product of the back piece, uh, lower piece. These are not the Cascan covers, these are GM OEM covers. Um, no cutting required, no nothing. It's all the original. No cutting in the headrest. It's all factory hole right there. I did order my headrest, they're not here yet, uh, but it doesn't look too bad. But anyway, so here's the covers. Dick's Pretty good. Now I just gotta put uh, these covers on the side, bolt it up, and then put it on the uh, truck. But other than that, the seat is done. Um, until the headrest come in, I'll be able to put the headrest in, and then I'll be able to do the uh, driver side. So let's get it. Here, this uh, driver side seat covers installed. Everything's working. They didn't want to record just because it's almost the same process as that side over there except this side just has power but not that much difficult uh i will turn the heaters on just to get the leather shrink or shrunk to the uh cushion but they're not shouldn't be too much difference um looks good like i said i do have the headrest on orders you know the cloth one still same goes for the rear these are the cheap vinyl ones i have these on order as well be here next week so other than that, just beat it up a little bit, beat the leather in, should be good. Let me show you all what these look like in the daylight. Catch y'all tomorrow. All right, so here it is, guys. Uh, sun's out 
where's the uh, sun's out so it's pretty hot <coughs> um the leather did actually mold and stretch better with the heat um it's pretty damn good i like how it came out just the covers so four covers and then the two big covers in the back three big covers in the back uh i'm at 588 588 bucks um i reordered the headrest that's another 70 dollars 60 dollars each headrest on the front seat so that brings about six seven eight probably be like 800 bucks with the back headrest as well um that is gm cost which is my cost but i'm sure you can get it for this, uh close to the same price on parts direct so i will post the part numbers on the description here in the later and maybe a picture of the the list of the part numbers on this seat so y'all can order your own but other than that came out good <coughs> back seats very nice like i said it's very good install very easy never done leathers uh leather seats on the truck um they get a little help and how to like take stuff off but other than that it came out pretty good That's pretty much almost the last piece of the puzzle to the uh, leather swap. And uh, then we're going to pull these out, get a tool, and put them on. Sheesh! Look at that. Brothers ZR2. Looking good. RC. She don't come on this door. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to take these headrests off retainer and then use a pick all right so what you do is twist these caps and then in here I don't know if you can see it see that metal thing right there the little metal ring you pull that with your pick all right so you pull that with your pick and that allows you to pull the headrest up all right so after you got that little retainer pushed out this way towards you, this side as well. You should be able to pull right off. Get the caps. They should be able to do it like that. Voila. Looking good. Now let me switch that one up. Should be almost complete. All right, there it is guys covers i think i spent 700 bucks for everything can't beat that installed it myself leather headrest leather seat covers looking good so there it is guys uh leather install uh if you like what you're seeing hit that subscribe button like comment and uh peace out